Hey, hi guys, Rekha this side. Today we'll see abstraction. In abstraction, we will understand abstract class interface. So this is the most important topic and one of the OOPS concept property. So first we will understand abstraction. What is abstraction? So abstraction, basically it is a process of hiding internal implementation detail and showing only functionality. It means, uh, let's say I'm taking one example. I want to transfer some money to someone else. So what we do, we are using many UPIs, right? Like Google Pay, Phone Pay, and Paytm we have. So what we do, we usually uh, scan the scanner code and uh, what we do, we enter some amount and we just click uh, on transfer button. It, it transfer, right? So we know only functionality, functionality, but internally how it is connecting to another bank and my bank and how it is transferring an amount, we don't know internally how it works. We, we really don't know. We just know only functionality, how it works, right? So this is called abstraction. So what is the abstract class? Abstract class means any class which you can declare with abstract keyword. That is called abstract class. In abstract class, what we can use inside the abstract class, we can use abstract method, non-abstract method, right? So what is abstract method? Abstract method means a method which we can declare with abstract keyword that is called abstract method and in abstract method we don't need uh, we don't provide any implementation we provide implementation in child class we just declare a method right so that is uh, abstract method and this is a normal method this is a non abstract method right and this is also called a concrete method and what is the third point it is saying it can have constructor and static method. So in abstract class, we can use constructor as well as we can use static method. And what is the fourth point? It is saying it cannot be instantiated. It means you cannot create an object of abstract class. And what is the last point? It is saying abstract class can achieve 0 to 100% abstraction. And uh, this is a syntax. Uh, this is a simple class and class name is a a class which we are declaring with abstract keyword that is called abstract abstract class right so let me create a program so i am creating a program creating a class with the name of, uh, let's say, suppose that I'm creating a class with the name of, uh, let's suppose that uh, abstract class test, right? This is a normal class. Suppose that this is a main class where we are writing main method, right? Now I will create one abstract class. So abstract class, I'm creating a class name, let's say test, right? This is a class. As of now, this is a simple class, but if I declare with abstract keyword, abstract keyword, now it is an abstract class because we are using this abstract keyword along with this class. So this is an abstract class. Let me again come back in definition. So first we have created, right? We have created a class which is declared with abstract keyword. This is known as abstract class, right? First point we have achieved. Now we will move into the second point. What it is saying? It can have abstract and non-abstract method. So first we will create one abstract method inside this abstract class. So we can use void, let's say I'm creating fun, right? And here we'll have to use abstract keyword. So now this is a abstract method, right? In abstract method, we cannot provide implementation here. We'll have to provide implementation in child class, right? So let me provide implementation as well. So, how we can provide an implementation? We'll have to create 
same method name in child class right and here we can provide some statement right but how we can identify it's a child class we'll have to extend this super class abstract class extend test right so now this is a super class this is abstract class and this is a child class this is a child class so this is abstract method and this is the implementation of abstract class so first point what it is saying it can have abstract method i already have created abstract method now it is saying and non-abstract methods let me create one non-abstract method as well here so let us suppose that i am creating a non-abstract method is speak this is a non-abstract method so in the non-abstract method this is also called a concrete method so here i am providing some statement sys out speaking right second point we also have achieved right now we'll move into third point here i have just explained what is non abstract method and what is abstract method so abst what is a non abstract method this is a normal method where we are not using any abstract keyword this is called non abstract method and it is also called a concrete method abstract method a method which we can declare with abstract keyword a method which declare with abstract keyword and doesn't have body structure that is known as abstract method right what is the third point it is saying it can have constructor and static method let me create one constructor here you remember right constructor name must be same name as in the class name and constructor must have no any explicit return type right you don't remember you can go in my previous video and you can understand the constructor concept so let me provide some statement here let's say i'm saying hello right and constructor i have created now it is saying it can have static method as well let me create one static method as well here wide and uh, we can say static method static method and i'll have to use static here since it is a static method system dot out dot println static method so we have a achieve this point as well now it is saying it cannot be instantiated means we cannot create an object of this class right we can take a reference variable but we cannot create an object of abstract class so what we will do we'll take a reference variable of this class this abstract class object is equal to new but we cannot create an object of this abstract class we can create an object for this child class this is a child class we are creating an object for this child class right so now constructor so while creating an object this constructor will be executed now we'll call this abstract method so with the help of this reference variable we'll call the abstract method abstract method name is fun we have called now with the help of this abstract method we can call this concrete method that is speak speak name is wrong right now this is a static method so static for the static method we don't need any object so what we will do it belongs to the class so what we will have to do we will have to take this class name 
dot static method. So now we will run this program and see the output. See, this is output. Hello, it got printed hello, right? Speaking and this static method. So it has called all, all the method, right? So this is output. Now we will move into the interface. So what is the interface? An interface is a blueprint of a class. Why it is saying it is a blueprint of a class? Because, because it will be just like a class only, but instead of class, here we will use interface keyword, right? And it is saying it has static, constant and abstract method. So whatever the variable you will pass under this interface, that will be static and constant. And we can use abstract method, right? And second point, what it is saying, it can achieve 100% abstraction. Why we can achieve 100% abstraction? Because we are not using any constructor and we are not using any concrete method. So that's why we will be able to achieve 100% abstraction, right? And third point, it is saying in interface, we can use only one abstract method but since java 8 we can use n number of static method and default method and we can use multiple abstract method as well right this is the third point and what it is saying the fourth point multiple inheritance is also possible through interface right because here we are not using extend keyword here we are using implements keyword right and fifth point is it can be used to achieve loose coupling, right? So there are five points we will see one by one in coding. And this is a syntax. Instead of class, we are using interface here. And this is an interface name, right? So let me create a program. So suppose that I am creating a program with the name of, so first I will create interface so instead of creating a class instead of clicking on this uh, class we will click on this interface since this is an interface now we will have to give interface name here so let's suppose interface name is um interface name is so we can say interface only interface test we can say right this is the interface. So first point, an interface is a blueprint of a class. Why it is saying blueprint of a class? Because instead of class, we are using interface and we are using in the same way as we were creating a class, right? Now it is saying it has a static and constant, right? means whatever the variable we will use inside the interface that will be either static or constant. So let me declare one variable, right? So it will be either constant or static, right? By default, right? Now I will create one method. Let's suppose that I am creating a method with the name of one, right? So here we are just declaring a method. So once you will use this um, uh, this keyword, uh, this uh, exclamatory, then it means it is we are declaring a method, right? So once you are declaring a method and you are not providing any implementation, that means it is an abstract method, right? So if you are using abstract keyword, then it is a good. If you are not using any abstract keyword, then compiler will consider as a abstract method only. So we'll use abstract keyword, right? So this is a abstract method. So see, first point we have covered, right? We have used abstract method. Now, second point it is saying it can achieve 100% abstraction. Why it is saying abstract 100% uh, we can uh, achieve? Because we cannot create 
a constructor see if i am trying to create a constructor then it is giving an error so constructor is not possible right second non abstract method we cannot use let's suppose i am trying to create non abstract method right this is also not possible so here we cannot create constructor and we cannot use concrete method so that's why we can achieve 100% abstraction third point what it is saying since java 8 we can use multiple abstract method and we can use a number of uh, default and static method so let's let's try one more method suppose that i am creating one more method let's say run right so as of now we are using more than one method more than one abstract method right what is the fourth point in the fourth point acha uh, third point it is saying we can create a number of static and default method as well so let me create one static and default method as well so suppose that i am creating a static method static void you can say static method this is a static method static method right now we can create one default method as well method name you can give anything right so this is a default method sys out default method right so we have completed this third point now what it is saying fourth point multiple inheritance is also possible through interface right so here uh, if you are creating two interface right and if you want to uh, call uh, in the third in the class if you want to implement both the interface then it is allowed right so that's why we are achieving this fourth point as well multiple inheritance is also possible in terms of interface and fifth point it is saying it can be used to achieve loose coupling right so now what we will do it is an interface now we will create one class this is an interface now we will have to create one class to provide an implementation of this abstract method so let me create one class class we can use we can say test class right now what we will have to do we will have to provide an implementation here we will have to use implements method and we can use this interface right now we will create one main method here right and not required public so we have created one class implements and we are implementing this interface now what we can do we'll have to provide the implementation of this method right so we'll have to create same method name to provide an implementation here public sys out right here we can print the statement that having one right now we have this method so we can provide an implementation of this method as well we'll have to make it public sys out 
here we can say running right now we have achieved all the points right now right now what we can do we can create an object so we cannot create an object of this interface it is not possible so we'll have to create an object with with this child class so let me create an object is equal to new test right now first method is fun so let me call the fun method with this reference variable dot fun now let me call another method that is run right and now we have a static method so static for the static method we don't need to create an object so it belongs to the class let me copy this interface dot static method we can call the static method now and now this is the last default method so with the help of this reference variable we can call to default method as well this is a default method right so now we can run this program and see the output see so our main class is this test right so here let me remove it and we can make a test here apply and run okay Okay, let me make it, test is already there in this package. So let me create test one. And let me pass here, test one. So here we'll also have to pass this test because we have created an object with the name of this. Why it is uh, it is not taking test because we already have used test in this uh, abstract class. So that's why it is not taking. So let me rerun this program. See, it is giving an output. So first we have called this fun method having fun then running, then static method, and then default method. So this is all about this interface and abstract class. So let me explain you the difference between both the interface and abstract class. So what is the difference? In the abstract class, we are using keyword abstract, but in interface, we are using interface keyword. And second difference is in abstract class, we are using constructor and we are using concrete method as well but in interface we cannot use constructor and concrete method right two method uh, two difference and third different differences in abstract class we cannot achieve multiple inheritance but in interface we can achieve multiple inheritance as well but in abstract class we are using extend keyword right but in interface we are using implements keyword so these are the main differences between both abstract class and interface. I hope you guys understand. If you have any doubt, then you can ask in the comment. I will try to explain you. Thank you guys.